Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's go, Uni. Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing okay. So today I just wanted to do another Indian reaction, more of like um, uh, my opinions about uh, you know people that um, do charity vlogs, um, uh, or people that help and film it as well, if it's good or bad. Kasi ano nangyari, parang nagiging, it's either good and bad. There's no gray, there's no middle. Uh, I like to believe so, like, just in anything, like in politics, you cannot be one-sided. You always have to look at it in the middle. Why I say that? Because there's no perfect person, there's no perfect organization, there's no perfect government, there's no perfect of anything. So you have to look at it objectively and not one-sided. Uh, and I also believe, uh, I'll start this, this out already. When you're going to criticize someone or you're going to give your opinion, okay? Uh, in my perspective lang, you can criticize and not be sarcastic. You could criticize and just give knowledge to people. And, and I'm sure people will appreciate that. But once you become, you know, sarcastic and yung iba, they even... Uh, you know, they start cursing or they call that person names, then you'll never win, guys. At the end of the day, people are not going to take you seriously even though you start giving out good information. Because it's, at the end of the day, it's also about how you deliver these these opinions, your messages to people. Uh, you can call out people. You can call them out. It's fine. You could criticize. You could give your opinions. But do it decently. Kasi decente tayong tao. We are Filipino for a reason. Diba? Uh, being sarcastic, uh, throwing out names and stuff, I, I think that's uncalled for. Uh, diba? Uh, that's how I am. Huh? And that's how my father is. That's how we were taught. Uh, you, you can be criticized for certain things. But at the end of the day, it's how you convey that message to people. Uh you know, sometimes you have to, you really have to think hard before you even press this record button and start recording. And I uh, know, sometimes because people get too emotional. And I understand that because you're very, very passionate of what you want to say. It's your responsibility also uh, not to be sarcastic. Just, just convey your message to the best of your ability and to best of your knowledge. Because... At the end of the day, that shows a reflection of who you are. But when you come become sarcastic, parang it leaves a bad taste to a lot of people. Even though your message might be right or might be good, uh, it it leaves something, you know. Like for me, when I hear it, when I see it, parang yeah, you have a point. But at the same time, I could have said it way way better than that. To think that you you know you 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 tell yourself yourself that you're Educated, yes. One is being educated. Two is also how you talk to people. If you want people to listen to you, you have to talk to them properly and treat them properly. Even though your information is right, but the way you, you know, like I say, the way you present it, and uh, you know, you curse, nagbumura ka, you're sarcastic. Uh, I, I just don't think it's right. I really don't think. Uh, a lot of people are not gonna side with you uh, just because of that. Diba? I mean, criticisms are fine, opinions are fine. We live in a world of like that. Even though you do good to so many people or you have projects that will help a lot of good people, but sometimes even if that project is so good but it doesn't make a lot of money for some people, diba? Yun lang, yun ang sinasabi ko na, yun na, just, we all should be responsible when we do our vlogs. Uh, we, don't, we don't have to be perfect. We don't have to say all the right things and the sweet things. It's fine. Pero, yun na, like I said, we know that kids watch this. A lot of kids go on YouTube, diba? 
and parents can not always monitor the kids. So it's our responsibility to act accordingly, diba? properly, yun lang. So guys, I'll just do with the grocery. Nandito ako sa grahe. I'm warming up the car. I always do this. Mga five minutes, I just warm up the car. It's good for the car, guys. Just a tip. Warm up your car, then on your aircon after about two minutes or three minutes. Diba? Just to reach the temperature ng, ng, ng makina, ng engine. Yeah, just do the groceries, guys. Then we'll talk more about this later. Hey guys, so just got back home. Hey, my volume, ba? Hopefully, my volume, guys. So I use my lapel. Hopefully, it works. Di tagal ko nang di nagagamit kasi guys. Eh. Anyway, so yeah, just got back home from the supermarket. Uh, so yun. Let's let's continue. Oh, let's continue talking about as people. Some call it charity vlogs. Some people call it poverty porn. I really don't want to put a name into it. Because at the end of the day, it's so easy to throw out your opinions and and your ideas to people. But it's so hard to also, because at the same time, if you're just basing it on content, it's still a gray area. For me, it's not yes or no. Uh, it's hard to say that this person is doing this in such a way. Because you have no idea kung ano yung intent ng tao. What you see is on video. But your intention, you cannot see that. You can only feel that uh, once you see a person, you talk to the person, and uh, you know when you share your ideas, even before you do something, di ba? And yung passion ng tao, hindi mo naman makikita ang passion ng tao eh. Uh, to a certain extent lang on video but you have to talk to someone talk to that person to really know where that person is coming from diba? uh, so yeah I think it's also unfair on his part si Basel kasi uh, it's not his fault that people started following his channel when he started doing diba? hindi naman niya alam na his channel would grow this big because of that and when he felt that people let what you know wanted this uh, like this channel it's not just because of that it's just it's also because of who he is before that he was showing traveling around the world showing not just Filipinos but showing uh, people from Syria you makababayan na Syrians how beautiful the Philippines is because as you know he, he came here at a young age he had no idea what the Philippines was diba? he had to learn it in a way, a hard, the hard way. Wala siyang family. Couldn't speak English or Tagalog. He had a hard time in school because no una, he couldn't understand. And the teachers, of course, they couldn't speak his language, so it's very hard. So, yun, so I mean, he had struggles here. And YouTube was his way of uh, showing, not only showing himself, his personality, but also showing how beautiful our country is. And he, he did. Uh, he gave it justice uh, through his vlogs before when he used to tour around the Philippines, enjoying the food, talking to people. No una, of course, like any other vlogger, nahiya ka, di ba, to talk to people, especially on camera. Then, you know, it evolved to something else. It evolved to him because he was generating enough income. Uh, sabi mo, hey, I'm, I'm making money. Why don't I, kay papano, do it's a small portion and that's fine guys doesn't matter he's not obligated to give 100% of what he makes on YouTube diba? he's not he has to live also he has dreams and aspirations like anybody else on YouTube it's just a matter how you use that money for the for the betterment of yourself and for other people diba? it's not an obligation it's because he wants to just like me it's not my obligation to 
to give out uh, money to certain people, tips and, and stuff like that. Diba? Kasi gusto ko. Kasi I will show them my appreciation uh, in my own small little way. Uh, the same way with my dad. Diba? Yung mga ideas niya, yung prinsipyo niya, yung principles niya, yung pagiging patriot ng tatay ko is something that I admire because I've seen it in my own eyes at such, such a young age. Uh, and, you know, the ideas that he has and iba eh, iba eh. Yung, it's hard to explain because you don't know my father, guys. You don't know what he does exactly and what he's trying to do. So, yun. Same way with Basel. Uh, I can only talk about it because I've, I've met him. We found out we are friends. It's part, like I said, he's part of the family. So, kilala ko siya, personally. We hang out off-cam. Majority of the ties off-cam. Though we had a lot of vlogs together before. Pero, off-cam ang dami. You're talking about 90% of the time that we hang out. Just share a meal together. I go to his YOLO or Yobosio. We talk there. We just talk. Like like friends. Diba? So, you kind of have... I have a good idea of who Basel is. Diba? And... People are gonna see it differently. Even if I talk about him and even if I try to tell him what type of a person he is. So I cannot control how people think. Basel has the passion for helping people in his way. Whether people see it in a big way or small way. Kasi yung iba, sinasabi nila, because he makes money on, on these videos, dapat 100% bigin niya lahat. I don't think that's fair also. Guys, it took him years to build this channel the way it is. And he never forced anyone to watch his videos. And he never asked anyone to subscribe to his channel. Kusa ang tao nag-subscribe. Kasi they saw something, they saw value into his content. They saw value as him as a person. Uh, you cannot, I don't think you can separate the two eh. They go in hand in hand, yung content mo, what you do, and also you as a person. Hindi ba? You cannot separate that. Just like your profession, mo, let's say I'm a businessman and this is what I do. Though it's my business and this is what I do, it's still part of me. You cannot separate the two. Diba? You can talk about both sides, but you cannot separate them. Because that's who you are also. That's part of who you are. It's not completely who you are, but it's also part of who he is. The same with Basel. The Hungry Syrian Wonder, the name itself, that's part of who he is. Diba? That's why people know him. Diba? A wonder could be a lot of things. Wonder around the country, wandering around the world, wandering about helping people, wandering, going to places where, you know, there's a lot of poverty in the Philippines. We all know that. We all see that. Uh, instead of just, you know, like, I can't tell what other people can think and what they want to do. Instead of just uh, criticizing and just throwing out your opinions left and right and throwing out words that are, you know, they're, they're being said so lo loosely, like exploitation. You can't just call out somebody and, and say that he's exploiting. That it, it's, you're using that word too loosely without really thinking. Uh, <laughs> diba? When there's so many other people who really exploit and then literally exploit uh, people. But they don't talk about it because I don't know why. I really don't know. Even before YouTube, but oh, wala pang YouTube, wala pang social media. There's exploitation everywhere, not just in this country, but everywhere. So, yeah, I never heard you guys talk about it. My point is, parang, we have our opinions. We can criticize. It's fine. It's healthy. It's healthy to debate. It's healthy to give out information. Especially, you really know what you're talking about. That's fine. There's no experts. Doctors are not experts. Lawyers are not experts. Businessmen are not experts. Even though they are successful in their own right, they're still not experts. Diba? Because we're all human beings. We're not perfect. But it's the way we convey that message. For me, that's important. It's the way you say it without degrading that person, without being sarcastic to that person. 
Kasi people have feelings, guys. Eh. You have to understand that. Uh, every comment, kahit papano, people read it. And they get affected by it. But they're trying to mind their own business and try to do uh, to the best their ability to be a YouTuber, to be a good person, to be a good businessman, to be a good boss, to be a good of everything. And it's, it's hard. It's not easy. Diba? So, instead of just, you know, all this, some people call it toxicity, toxic uh, behavior, let's just try our best to do our part to make this country and to make this world better diba? in our way, diba? whether it's small or big. I think that's that's how we should look uh, forward with everything in life. Diba? You know, like with me, guys, I could be, I, I could grow up to be mad at the world when I lost my mother. Uh, to, you know, I could use that as a reason to be always pissed off and always mad. But in there, you know why? Because that would be a disgrace to my mother if she was still alive. I carry her, her blood. I carry her, her who she is as a person. I even carry her features. And nakakaya sa mom ko if she saw me in that way. Diba? And that's why I give importance to what I put out also in my content. Regardless, my channel is way, way smaller than Basas. But it's not about how big your channel and how many subscribers and how many shares. Diba? It's, it's the message that you put out. And to show people na doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor. Meron mahirap na masama. Meron mahirap na sobrang bait. Meron mayayaman na hindi mag- mag- maganda yung pinapakita. Meron mayayaman na sobrang humble that you have no idea how wealthy they are. And those are the people you look up to. Ayun lang. So that's my simple vlog, guys. I just wanted to to tell you how I feel about what, what I see also on YouTube. Diba? I, I don't hate people that criticize uh, people. I, it's just a matter of just be a little bit more responsible on how you put out your message diba? without you know, without degrading the person. I mean, if you really care about a person, why don't you give that person a call or PM? Diba? It's so easy. You can private message that person. That person has Facebook. Obviously has an email. Diba? YouTube, where they come and comment you. Bro, you know, like, you want to talk about it? Uh, you know, there's some things I don't like about this and that. Maybe we could talk. Diba? and share ideas and how we become better per, uh, people, by better YouTubers. Diba? Yun lang. Diba? It's not that hard, guys. Instead of going out on social media and, you know, trying to force your opinions on other people. Uh, I don't think it's uh, proper. So, yun lang, guys. I hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, ECQ will be extended until the end of August. Hopefully, it doesn't extend. But for now, let's stay safe. Uh, pag meron kayong uh, schedule for vaccination, do it now. Uh, pag tapos na yung second dose. And let's just pray that uh, things will get better. So take care, guys. God bless. And I'll see you in my next vlog.